Hi, it's Sharon Lipinski, the Habit Superhero, and welcome to the Habit Huddle, where I share a quick tip, an insight, or a strategy that you can use to master your habits. Because the only thing that's standing between you and the life you want are the good habits you wish you had and the bad habits you wish you didn't. And in this episode, we're talking about how to create an action step that's gonna set you up for success. If you remember, in the Anatomy of a Habit video, I talked about the structure of a habit, that every habit has three components. There's a trigger, an action, and a reward. In other words, Something has caused you to behave in a certain way in order to get a particular benefit. And that's the structure that you want to use when you want to intentionally and easily create new habits. So let's hone in on this action step because most New Year's resolutions fail here. They fail because they don't set themselves up for success. When you're choosing your action step, make sure that it meets these three criteria. Your action step should be simple. You want to remove as many moving components, reduce the number of decisions that you have to make, because each time that you have to interact with this habit is an opportunity for you to fail. It's an opportunity for you to say, I don't have time today. I don't know what I want to do today. And when you have to make those decisions in the moment, it's an opportunity for you to bail. So here's an example. When I was learning how to do the exercise habit, I exercised in what I slept in. Why? Because getting changed was an extra step and it was hard for me. I didn't know what I wanted to wear. So you know what? I just did it right in what I was sleeping in, right in my bedroom, because that was simple for me. I knew that I could do that. Your action step has to be specific. It has to be concrete, tangible, something that you can actually do. So when people say that I'm going to get healthy, I'm going to create the habit of eating healthier. Well, what does that mean? It could mean anything. And if something could mean anything, it usually means nothing because you arrive at this point and your brain says, I don't know what to do. And when in doubt, when in resistance, the brain will follow the path of least resistance. And that's not to do anything. So don't give your brain the opportunity, that excuse to bail. Know exactly what you need to do. I'm gonna be on the elliptical machine for 30 minutes. I'm gonna put one piece of mail away. I'm gonna read for 15 minutes. I'm gonna write one page in my journal. I'm gonna save $100 a month. Be absolutely crystal clear and specific on what action you're going to take. Your action step must be attainable. It has to be something that you can actually do. So if you're working on the exercise habit and walking around the block is still a challenge for you, you're not gonna jump right to training for a marathon. Instead, build this new habit slowly in steps. Think of it as a long-term journey. The next step might be to walk around the block twice. Then the next step is to jog around the block once. And each step of the way is a step that you can actually take. So here's the takeaway. When you're designing your habit action plan and you're choosing your triggers and you're identifying your action step and you're identifying your rewards, make sure that that action step is simple, specific, and attainable. So I wanna hear from you. What habit are you working on and what is your simple, specific, attainable action step to make it happen? Thanks for joining me for the Habit Huddle. If you enjoyed the episode, click the thumbs up. And for more tips, advice on mastering your habits, click subscribe. Leave me your questions, your comments, your concerns below, and I will answer them in a future episode.